right, morning, everybody. All right, so today on how to not suck at teaching, today I want to cover um, consistency. Again, I think we're on part three this time, uh, but on consistency, how to talk, talking about uh, Groundhog Day. All right, now Groundhog Day for me does not mean February 2nd. It actually means every day is exactly the same, like the Bill Murray movie. Um, now for me, Groundhog Day is built upon the routines and consistency that I provide to my class and my students and my school. Um, I do think that's of dire importance. Notice I'm using my turn signal, under like some other people who forgot to use their turn signal. I'm trying to get out and then they don't want to let me out. <clears throat> Road rage. Um, providing those the students, the staff, everybody with consistent behavior from myself uh, always leads to no negative effects. I know that's like a double negative negative. Don't do the double negative 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 negative. Put and pop. I make every day exactly the same. I same same way as I talk to you guys. I say good morning or afternoon or depending on what time of day it is. And then sometimes I say good morning even though it is the afternoon just because that's me. Good after morning, everybody. Uh, as I'm talking to you guys, it's a very simple format. I come in, I talk to you guys, I tell you what the how not to suck today, um, and then I have like a closing and wrap everything up and always end everything with see you next class. It's a consistency thing. Find what consistency works for you. Please leave down in the comments what do you think is a good consistent behavior in your classroom? How how do you facilitate the learning process or, or how do you have that consistency built into your life? And the reason that we kind of harp on consistency in schools is because that's what gives stability to our students. Now a lot of our students come from backgrounds where consistency, consistency is not there. And you want to provide that so it's that, that one location for a student to feel safe, feel comfortable, which is of dire importance for learning to take place because if a student feels uh, agitated, anxious, concerned for their well-being, uh, they're not going to le learn or perform nearly as well as they will if they're more comfortable, relaxed, and they can focus on the task at hand, which is the education. Um, other than that, that's the other thing. Yeah. So I think I'm going to go ahead and um, close out class there today, and I will see you guys next class. Later.